what? You thought I was joking when I said I was going to do like a part two of last week's show? Okay, I'm back. It's your lucky day. Joking. Well, sort of. But speaking of joking, you know how I keep on calling the faux sun-kissed orange criminal felon Don Old, even though he acts like an infant having temper tantrums? Well, as his brain continues to go slipping down the drain, and he basically goes off the rails bigly in all his rallies, he's acting like a joker. So I'm going to call him Joker Trump. I know there's a new movie coming out. That kind of helps with the analogy. But what I really find intriguing is the movie's tagline, Voilà à deux, which is French for madness of two. And I hope I said it right. If not, I will be corrected. I'm sure of that. But it's okay. Now, what I also find fascinating is did you know that it's also a term used to describe a psychotic disorder? Voilà à deux also known as shared psychosis or shared delusional disorder, is a psychotic syndrome in which symptoms of a delusional belief are transmitted from one individual to another. I think we just found the meaning for MAGA. And by the way, I'm Arthur. Here at Arthur Is Your Mind on YouTube, I am an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. Now, as I mentioned, while I was out sick for nearly three weeks, always saying I was going to do a show, it didn't happen. I did receive a lot of questions. So this is basically the overflow from the last video with a few added questions as well. All right. Now, before we move on, I do have to bring up some, one thing. I've been getting a lot of people asking what I feel about the delay of Trump's sentencing by Judge Mershon from September 18th to November 26th. Now, if you recall, many of us were saying we weren't really satisfied with the outcome of September 18th when we were looking at it, trying to predict what was going to happen. We weren't satisfied. But that somehow later on we would be. And now it all makes sense. As Attorney Glenn Kirshner points out, now that the election will be over, and Trump's not going to win. Judge Mershon, he has no restraints when it comes to sentencing the convicted felon, just like an ordinary convicted felon would be. And we will be satisfied. And that's what I keep on getting from my guides as well. So let's see what happens. All right. Now to the questions. The first one, my two cents asks, do your cards, I really don't read tarot, happen to show a mental evaluation ordered by Judge Mershon in order to determine his sentencing? And then Jitterbug Tutu adds, will the thug plead insanity when he's found guilty of all crimes? I don't see any mental evaluations taking place here. Besides, Trump keeps on saying he knows the difference between a whale and a gorilla. And that he's so smart and he has a bigly brain. So why would they want to do that? I don't see it happening. Okay. Now, Heather asks, will you look at the security briefings that Trump is getting? Are they minimizing the information? Are they giving him fake info so they can track if he sells it? Well, my guys are telling me not to worry about it. And they keep on showing me pictures. And this is basically what they show me. Enough said. Okay. Now, any more. When Trump loses and flees the country, will we go get him and bring him back? I don't see him fleeing. You might think about it. But when you're handcuffed to a gurney, just saying, entertainment purposes only, I don't see it happening. Now, Mary Crane asks, will America ever recover from Trump and his circus? Eventually. It's going to take a while. We got over Richard Nixon, I think. We can get over Trump in time. All right. Now, Lorraine Orr, on a scale of one to five, 
how many previously unmentioned federal crimes committed by Trump, fel felony crimes committed by Trump, will be uncovered? On a scale of one to five, how many? 96. Sounds like a good number. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out with Judge Chutkin in the next two months before the election. Don't forget, it was the Supreme Court that told that she had to get on it right away. And so Jack Smith is going to get on it right away and bring in all new information that we don't even know about, but the grand jury did. So it's going to get fun. Get the popcorn. Okay. Now, Baxter asks, do the MAGA people that support Trump realize that if he tries to stir up another January 6th event, do they know deep inside that he will not bail them out of jail nor pay their attorney bills? I think that's why there hasn't been another January 6th, because many people is like seeing everyone getting arrested and being sentenced. They don't want to be part of that. And even though Trump keeps on saying he's going to pardon everyone. Yeah. I don't think they're going to do that. Now, there may be some diehards that, you know, give away their the money for the prescription drugs to Trump because it's Trump. But that's going to stop. Entertainment purposes only. Okay. Now, Baxter also asked, will Melania divorce Donald Trump before or after the election? Is her hesitation to leave him due to the fact that she will lose money if she leaves him? Emotionally, she's left him a long time ago. You don't have to be a psyche to know that one. But you also know that she has probably it all planned out. And probably will be after he loses the election and goes to jail. So just toss him under the bus, take her money, and run. Now, here's a fun one. Diane Carosa asks, will J.D. Vance get replaced? I don't see it. I think it's too late. On the other hand, someone just asked me the other day, do you know his sign? And I said, that's easy. Exit. Let's face it. J.D. Vance the just dumb heterosexual makes Vice President Dan Quayle look like a member of Mensa and a Nobel laureate. Mm. Now some Kamala Harris questions. Jesus Aria asks, will DACA recipients get a pathway to U.S. citizenship under a Kamala Harris presidency yes i do see that it might take about two years but i do feel within the first five months of her presidency there'll be she'll be signing some kind of order that puts things on hold that nobody can do anything and then it moves forward in congress all right so she is going to do what has been promised years ago all right the pathway to citizenship it's only fair now, Carrie Dixon asks, how do you think Kamala will do in Georgia? How much voting interference will go on and how successful? Well, yeah, there'll be interference. Is it going to be enough to throw things off? I don't see it. I really feel the GOP underestimates the power of the people. And I really feel... They can try and throw people off the voter registers and all that kind of stuff. But in the end, it's still a blue wave. Hello. Which reminds me, vote. Don't sit in your laurels. Vote. All right, moving on. Now go Clark asks, will Kamala pick Preet Barrera as her attorney general? In all honesty, while she may be thinking about who's who and zoo for the cabinet, I don't think anything is etched in stone yet. Let's get it a win first, and then we'll worry about it, all right? Now, Lynn J asks, what will Trump's cult be doing when Kamala is in office and the orange one is out of the picture? 
I think that says it all, doesn't it? Okay, now here's one that really irks me. It's about the right-wing influencers getting money from Russia. Melanie asks, are we going to find out more about right-wing influencers turning out to be Russian agents? It's just the tip of the iceberg. Just the tip of the iceberg. And they're saying, oh, we didn't know. Really? You think we're that dumb? Well, they did vote for Trump. But I love this headline. Well-known right-wing influencers duped to work for covert Russian operation, U.S. prosecutors say. Duped? Really? Making that kind of money? Using the same talking points as Vladimir Putin? Really? Again, it's about the money. The indictment shows that some of the influencers were paid handsomely for their work. One unidentified influencer's contract included a $400,000 monthly fee, a $100,000 signing bonus, and an additional performance bonus. Is this is a contract for Beyonce? Come on, that's nuts. In the meantime, the other thing that has all of us up in arms is the mainstream media. I received a lot of questions about the mainstream media. Like, will mainstream media finally get a spine and stop protecting this crazy man? Or does corporate media realize that many viewers no longer trust their reporting and have stopped watching in a result? And then Deborah asks, do the mainstream media news anchors believe what they are saying about 45 or saying what is told to be said? Well, most of the media is owned by MAGA. So that's why everything's been skewed originally against Biden. And now it seems every time Trump opens his mouth, there's a press conference and all these people are there. It's insane. But there have been some news anchors that have quit their jobs because of what they've been dictated to say. Now, there's a word that's not used often, but that's called integrity. Integrity, it's a noun. Integrity means being honest and having strong moral principles. A person with integrity behaves ethically and does the right thing even behind closed doors. So, integrity. Let's just hope after this whole thing is over, that starts coming back into play. Integrity. Just like I've always been saying, as we go into the new administ administration, the two words that I keep on hearing are compassion and empathy to replace hate and bigotry. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm on a soapbox, but when I stand on it, I get taller. Um, basically, it's vote blue. All of us psychics here can say what we're saying, but you're the one that has to make it happen. Not just you, but all of us. And we can do it. Believe in ourselves. And as I've always said, you may even if you don't like Harris, and walls you're voting for an administration and a belief as opposed to project 2025 going backwards being taught national crap all right moving on napoleon 1323 do you see early voting in person in ohio yes but i'm going to make this a service announcement as opposed to a psychic announcement. Okay, I'm going to read. Five states begin in-person early voting in September. Pennsylvania, September 16th. Minnesota, September 20th. Virginia, September 20th. Vermont, September 21st. And Illinois, September 26th. 
Some states like Minnesota and Vermont will begin both in-person and absentee voting this month, September, whereas others have different timelines for the two early voting methods. North Carolina is set to be the first state to mail absentee ballots, but won't begin in-person voting until mid-October. Michigan will be the last swing state to begin early in-person voting just over a week before Election Day. Now, federal law requires absentee ballots for overseas and military voters to be mailed out 45 days before the election on September 21st. Ta-da! So, as I said earlier, vote. And if you know somebody that's not going to vote, read them the Riot Act. Show them Project 2025. Yeah. Now, Milady, hi, Milady, asks, do you see Hakeem Jeffries becoming speaker before January 2025? Now, I've always been predicting this. How it happens? Maybe it's because Johnson gets tossed out when he passes a budget that Trump and the rest of them don't want him to pass at the end of the month. We'll see. I always feel that there's a chance that Hakeem Jeffries is in there. The time will tell. But rest assured, after the election, he is the Speaker of the House. Now, Wonder Woman, can you read Matt Gates? Why? Okay. Is he going to get indicted, jail time, or registered sex offender? Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong picture. Let's get his most recent one. Yeah. There you go. Now, did someone say weird? In all honesty, I do feel he is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. And I do feel one thing he's going to get in trouble with, he is going to have to register as a sex offender. He's going to fight a tooth and nail, and he's going to lose. So get the popcorn out on that one, too. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to make it short and sweet tonight. All right. But I'll be back. But I also really want to thank everyone for the love and support, especially while I was sick with all the well wishes and comments. It was really nice. And I really, really appreciate it. And if anyone's interested in a personal reading, Hey, I've got openings before I leave for Chicago on the 25th of September. And then when I return on after eight, October 1st, lots of readings, openings. That, I don't think I have anything booked. So there you go. Now, we do have the debate coming up with Harris and Trump. It's going to be interesting. In fact, I'll be doing a show with Linda G on Tuesday. We're going to be taping it well before the debate. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. And we'll be answering other questions as well. I love Linda. Okay. In the meantime, let's try and get the 15,000 subscribers. Let's face it. Only you guys can make it happen. I can get fake accounts, but that's a lot of fake accounts. So you can do it. And if you're not subscribed, Hit the like and subscribe. It's free. Come on. You can do it. Okay. And as I always say, what is it? Take care of yourself. Take care of others. And above all, stay amazing. And vote. Oh, and just in case you didn't see the last video, or if you don't mind a repeat, stick around. Okay, so in the meantime, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.